Hey guys, it's Amy. What's up? <clears throat> Got a frog in my throat. Thank you for watching. Today's video is going to be, and still might be, a wedding makeup video, but I happened to get the Arabesque palette from Bad Habit in the mail today, and I have the Retro Love palette. And this one is a dupe for the subculture, Anastasia Beverly Hills subculture. And I've used it a few times, and it is stinking phenomenal. The shadows are just so blendable, so nice. I just, I, I can't not use this today. So I'm literally opening it right in front of you guys. And that is if I can without... I got these stupid powder gel nails that I've never had before, and they're not like real nails, and so I can't do things that I normally do. But this is a dupe for the Soft Glam palette. And, oh, get rid of this. And that is so stinking pretty that I feel like this is what I wanted to do a wedding makeup look with, but I didn't have it in time for my video yesterday. So, since it didn't come over the weekend, it came today, and I want to just try it out and see if I can find a look that's better than what I did. Um, I will still do a video for the other look just because, well, I probably will. It depends on what people want. So, anyway... I'm going to go over my skincare, I'm going to do foundation, I'm going to do everything in this video. So I guess it's going to be a get ready with me, so it's going to be a little bit longer, especially since this intro is already really long. So um, if you want to see what I end up doing with this, because I don't even know, I haven't even touched these. Oh, the front of my palette is like damaged. But anyway, yeah, if you want to see what I do with these, then just keep on watching. Okay, so to start off, I'm going to go over what I did as far as skincare. Um, I don't have what's in the bathroom with me, but I used an Ola Henriksen face wash, and then I it's the orange one that pumps out. Uh, I'll have it on the screen somewhere, like here, where, whatever it's called. And I used the Ola Henriksen Walnut Scrub, the blueberry one. Then I used the rest of my Garnier, which yay, I'm excited for, because I uh, don't like using things that aren't cruelty-free. This is the Garnier Skin Active Micellar Cleansing Water, all-in-one waterproof, and it does remove, like, everything that soap and scrubs and everything else misses. So this got the rest of my mascara off. And then, I'm trying to finish this off as well. This is the Neutrogena Pore Refining Toner, and I've been using this stuff since before my daughter was born. Oh my gosh, I've been using it so long. Um, visibly reduces the appearance of pores and refines skin with alpha and beta hydroxy formula. I just have to be careful of my eyebrows because alpha and beta hy hydroxy, the, the acids, will take away the pigment. So anyway, I use that. Then I went in with this... The Organic Pharmacy Lip and Eye Cream, and I just, not that you can see it, but I have my lights up on purpose, so. Um, it says, Nourish, Treat, Refresh, a rich eye cream with eye bright, fennel, bilberry, and frankincense to nourish. Just use that around my eyes, and then this H2O Plus Beauty, which I did find out is cruelty free. It's an Oasis Hydrating Treatment, clinically proven to hydrate immediately and soften skin. Then, oh wait a minute, before I use this moisturizing treatment, I use this Caudalie Premier CRU Lay Serum for all skin types. 
I used that. Then I used the H2O Plus Beauty Moisturizer mo uh, Hydrating Treatment. Then, and this is because I'm so dry and I just want to put everything that I can into my skin. It's going to be crazy humidity when I'm in New Orleans, so I really don't need all of this, but I do need it today, you know, up until I'm going there. So I'll use these today and tomorrow. Um, I have this sample from Biosense, and it's the Squalane and Probiotic Gel Moisturizer. Hydrates, brightens, and balances skin. And then I have a little Biosense um, oil, and I have a hair also. Uh, it's squalane and vitamin C rose oil to brighten, firm, and even skin tone and texture. It's just a little baby. But I've only used it down to here, and I've been using it for a while. So, and I have another one. So, yes, that's all my skincare stuff. So, everything is probably pretty darn now soaked in. Yeah, soaked in. So, I'm going to go in with. This Hard Candy Sheer Envy Coconut Water Primer Stick. And I am just going to apply that all over. This really helps everything get sticky, but it's so moisturizing at the same time. And I don't know why, but I just feel like I want to prep my skin as well as I can. So I'm using like 50 different types of primers. And this is just the first one. Oh, I'm dropping things. And I'll just rub that in. Okay, then after that I'm going to use a mix of the Becca First Light Priming Filter and the Wet n Wild Photo Fa Focus Face Primer in Dewy. Gonna mix those two. Yesterday I used way too much, so I'm only going to use like a very small amount of the first light and then the Dewy. And plus I already have this one primer on, and I'm going to put another one on too. Because <laughs> I'm extra like that. Which I'm normally not. I'm normally the person who sleeps in her makeup and is so bad about skincare and everything, but... I don't know. My skin feels really good right now. It feels really, like, baby smooth. And just so wonderful that I want to do everything that I can to keep it that way. I thought I was getting a blemish here yesterday, but it went back down. It's just a little bit of a red mark instead of an actual blemish. And since I do bring product down my neck, I'll bring these primers down my neck. And then the last thing that I'm going to do is use my little baby milk makeup primer stick, blur stick, that's what it is, it's a blur stick, and I'm going to put that on, and it makes a difference immediately. I will get as close as I can, and I don't know if you guys can see, this side is the side that I put the primer stick on, the blur stick, and this side you can still see the pores. I don't have it zoomed in or anything, but I'm getting pretty darn close, so I'm just going to put it on the other side and blend that in. I'm also going to put it on my chin, simply because I do have some problem pores down there, and I had my Libre pierced, and anything that I can do to fill in that permanent hole that I put in my face, uh... Is good. So I'm going to blend that up because I heard that that is what you're supposed to do with pore filling primers. So 
I'm not big on using them. I never have until this blur stick. Well, I've used the professional, but I hate that. I had to go wet my beauty blender. I hate sitting down, especially when I'm filming, and I haven't wet my beauty blender. Okay, so I'm going to be using the Josie Marin Vibrancy Foundation. It's not exactly my right shade, but the way I'm using it um, is only in the middle of my face and blending it out. So, and then concealer is going to kind of cover that. So it really doesn't matter that the shade is like one shade off. I have it in electric and my pump is broken. So I'm just going to take this out and put the smallest amount, like seriously, that's all I'm going to use. The smallest amount on my face. And I am going to use um, a sponge to blend it out. I just want to cover my nose, my chin, and the redness that I have right through here. And the rest I'm just going to blend out. I don't want too much in between my eyes or on my forehead because it'll just settle into lines and it'll get dry in between my eyes. So I'll just do the same to the other side. So even though that wasn't an exact match, and I hope that was in focus, um, because the second half of my face was not in focus when I was doing it, but I'm not showing you that part. Um, even though it's not an exact match, it blends out so much. Because people don't need the amounts of foundation. Even if you have problem skin, if you layer on tons of foundation, that's all it looks like you did. It looks like you layered on tons of foundation on top of acne. So if you put on foundation and then spot conceal, that works much, much better. So, okay, that's all blended in and down and out and all that good stuff. I am actually going to use a corrector just because my dark circles can get pretty bad. So I think, I mean, we're going to be doing a lot of relaxing. I'm not going to be too tired or exhausted or anything like that, but I mean you can just see right now that I have a lot of darkness. So I'm going to use this Bobbi Brown Cream Corrector in Porcelain Bisque, and this is the color, and I'm just going to get a little bit on my ring finger, and pat that on up into the corner to help brighten. And let's see. Yeah, that side's just a lot brighter now. It's not necessarily covering the circles, but I will be putting concealer on top of it. So I'm going to do the same to the other side, and then we'll do concealer. And that corrector, you don't want to blend in too much because it's so emollient it'll just end up like blending away. I'm going to use my Wet n Wild Photo Focus Concealer in the shade Light Ivory. There's cat hair all over it. This is the deal with hair today. What I'm going to do is take it under here and then I'm just going to like dot this down alongside my nose. Because I want the most coverage, but I don't want a ton of product, so I will be bringing that product out. And then I'll cover my chin, and I have redness above my lip. And I'll blend that out with the other end of the sponge. And 
So I'm just taking this and bringing it out. I did that with all of it. And this I'm just beating it in. Alright, so my circles still aren't perfect, but they're never going to because they're hereditary and it's just what I was given. So that's all I'm going to do for foundation and concealer. Moving on to powder, I'm going to be using the IT Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores Pressed Powder. And I don't have very much of this left. I'm going to have to buy another one. I've hit pan. You can even see that. And I'm just going to take this on like normally I'd use this for a highlighting brush, but it's a setting brush. And just tap a little bit off and put it. Well, I'm going to make sure my eyes are not creased. and then put it under the eye and bring it down because this stuff really does help blend out your uh, blur out your pores it works so well so I just put that anywhere I put the concealer for the rest of my face I'm going to take my elf illuminating palette and use this shade down here at the bottom left and it is a dupe for the ambient lighting powder the hourglass ambient lighting powder in dim light which is exactly what I want I don't want it I have a luminous light but that's more for illuminating dim light kind of blurs and covers imperfections and acts like you're in lower lighting where you can't see everything really really well so I'm going to take that on just a powder brush from Wet n Wild and kind of stamp it wherever I didn't put whoa, the other powder and that's it for that. Then I'm going to take my ambient lighting powder, the actual one in luminous light and I'm going to put that on the high points of my cheeks and just everywhere that I would highlight I'm going to put it there before I put a set well before I I have to bronze and do blush and sorry my phone is on so that's my cat so I'm just rubbing this in there and I don't know if you can see that sheen. Like it's a highlight, but it's not intense at all. And that's what I'm going for. This one gives a candle lit glow. So you can still see any imperfections or whatever, but it's going to be a lot less than a regular highlighter. And I do have texture through here, so I want to keep my highlighter as low-key as possible. Not everybody likes to highlight their chin, but I do just because I have such a big forehead that highlighting the chin makes the chin a little bit bigger and then I make the forehead smaller with bronzer and contour which I'm not actually going to contour because I want this to be a more natural look for my wedding. I don't want to contour and then in two years look and be like why did I do that? Especially since I have cheekbones that I don't really need to contour anyway. So they, I mean, that it looks like I naturally have a contour already, like well, I naturally do, that's a shadow. So I just don't like to contour for special events or anything like that. For bronzer, I'm going to be using my Pure Bronze and Brighten Trio, and that's what the bronzer looks like. It looks really dark, but 
promise you it's not as bad as it looks. And then I'm just using a blush brush, but it works for bronzer, so why not? And I'm just taking that and kind of bronzuring with it, I guess. But I want a bright, brightening bronzer. I want this all to be bright. I want to be illuminated, but not, I don't know, not overly so, but I'm going to be really glowy. So then I contour up here, or bron bronzer, bronzer, whatever, up here to kind of make my forehead a little smaller. And then when I do my jawline, I'll bring it up on the sides of my face, but not onto my chin at all. And then I'll bring that down. For blush, I am going with a staple. Milani Baked Blush in Luminoso. Just because it is so gorgeous, so perfect. So peachy pink, just the right color that you can't go wrong with it. So I'll use the other side of the blush brush. And go in between the highlight and the contour. And kind of bring it down into the, the well, why do I keep calling it contour? It's not contour, it's bronzer. And then just bring it up a little bit. Do the same on the other side. Okay, so now my face is basically done. So I am going to go ahead and spray it with my Makeup Revolution Sport Fix Extra Hold Setting Spray. Makeup fixing spray. And I don't love the spray on this, but this way I can get my face sprayed twice. I'll do it now and then I'll do it again after I do my eyes. So now I will zoom you in and we will work on the eyes with my brand new palette. I'm so excited. So excited. I mean, I haven't even touched these. Let's see here. Yeah. There's colors that are like exactly like what I did with the Manny MUA palette. There just isn't. No, there is. A highlight for the brow bone. And then there's an all-over shade. So, yeah, this might even work better than the Manny palette, honestly, because the all-over shade's a little bit darker on the Manny palette and doesn't show up at all. So, anyway, let me zoom y'all in. Okay, I am going to start off with this first shade, which is called Avant. And I'm going to put that all over... This has a lot of kick up. I'm going to put that all over my eye. You know what I didn't do? Thankfully this is not my wedding day because there goes my cat again. I didn't prime my eyes. I was thinking about that when I was putting foundation on. I'm like, I didn't prime yet. Oops, I'll do it in a minute. And I didn't. So I'm really going to pack that right in the inner corner because I like that this shade is lighter than the Makeup Geek Beaches and Cream and it can create a little more contrast once I start putting the crease shades in. So what I'm going to start with 
is the shade Satin right here. And then I'm going to go up into Interlude, this one. So I'll just do one and then deepen it up with the other. And yeah, I mean, there's like tons of kick up you can see on the palette. That's just for me dipping in a few times. I'm going to put this in the crease and above the crease as a transition and only bring it to about here because it'll blend out a little more when I do blend it. But I love this brush. It's a Real Techniques base shadow brush, but I'm so slouchy lately. Um, I feel like this is really dark. Once I zoomed in, it got super dark. Oh yeah, I love this brush because it's fluffy, but it's also like a flat shader at the same time. I'm going to go ahead and take it underneath my eye since my face makeup is already done. Then I'm taking Interlude, that one that's just a little bit darker. I'm putting that a little more into the actual crease. And then onto the eyelid. Just the outer corner. Okay, now I'm going to take ballet slippers. I'm going to take that on the same brush, because why not? Just a little bit more on the tip of it. And put that in the outer corner and up into the crease. I'm going for the most neutral look possible. So that's pretty much what we're working with, and that's like, this is what we're going to be working with. It's pretty much the final result. Um, I am going to put some, I'm guessing it's Releve, in to deepen it up, but... I want this so basic and so simple, but there's really no point in doing a video, but I know people want to see it, and get ready with me, these are always fun, anyway. Alright, so this Releve shade is this deep brown one here. I'm going to take that on a smaller brush. I'm going to take this on a flat concealer brush from Wet n Wild and pack that onto the outer corner. And that's where I want it to stay. I'm going to take a flat shader brush and put that Releve in the outer corner underneath. Just halfway. a little more glam than what I wore yesterday, but I'm liking it. So, okay, I'm just going to blend all of this out. Soften everything up. And I'm going to dip into the satin shade again and blend the underneath with that. And I'm going to take a little bit of it and blend the top out with it too, with the satin color. And I still have to highlight, which is something that I normally do first, but... Alright, 
So this is the look before I do mascara. I'm not going to put lashes on today simply for the fact that I don't want to use the lashes just for a video. When you saw the lashes yesterday, well, not yesterday, on Monday, I'm publishing this Thursday, but it's Tuesday as I film. Or wait, no, it's Monday as I film. Yeah. Anyway, that doesn't matter. What matters is that this is the look that I'm doing. <laughs> That's just all there is to it. I like it more than I like the look from the Manny palette. It's extremely similar, but it's just a little more sultry, but yet still neutral, and it's going to look great with the lashes. So I am going to add a little bit more highlighter. I'm going to use the Essence Pure Nude. There we go. And... I'm using my Wet n Wild brush and I'm just getting this on and then finding a mirror somewhere, anywhere, a mirror. And I'm going to put this just on the high points. I'm not going to bring it over my brow bone or anything because I already have that color there. So this will just go on my cheekbones, my nose, and I'm going to put it over my lip because that just helps define the lip. I'm going to squeeze this together so it goes down the middle of the nose. See so yeah, right there, that just helps define where the lipstick actually goes, where the lip ends and your regular, you know, face skin starts. <laughs> Blend it out a little. And then I am going to just leave my brows as they are. I think that they are enough. I was thinking earlier that they weren't, but now that I look at them, I don't think they need to be any bolder because then I'm going to have so much going on. I mean, my cheeks and everything are already darker than I'm used to and my eyes are, I mean, they, they are arabesque-ish. <laughs> now they're soft glam-ish. I'm going to spray my face again and put on some mascara and lipstick and then I will be done. I'm really concentrating this on around my eyes. Okay, so my camera wasn't recording, and I'm not sure what it missed. I think it missed me putting on my mascara and my lipstick. I don't really know. But I can tell you what I wore. I put on the Essence Lash Princess False Lash Effect Mascara and absolutely love how they this. My phone just keeps wanting to interrupt me. So, um, yeah, I put that on and then I put on the Ofra liquid lipstick in Pasadena and it's basically my lip color just a shade darker and I am so flustered right now because I don't know what was recorded and what wasn't and I've already zoomed back out obviously so that's going to be kind of like a whoa for you guys but anyway all I was saying was that I, I did go back in and put on points which is this shade I put that underneath my brow bone and in my inner corner, which I didn't have an inner corner highlight yesterday from the Manny palette, but 
I do have to say that I am loving this palette, everything about it, for a first time look to make it work and for me to decide that yes, this is what I'm wearing for my wedding, like that's huge. So I'm sorry Manny, I love you, but I, I, this is a great palette. It's so wonderful. It made an awesome look. It's going to look great with the lashes because they are double layered and they are like, you know, splayed out like this. So they're pretty dramatic, at least for me, and they're long. I bought them on purpose because of the length. So anyway, with that, and I do have a decent contour even though I wasn't going for a contour. Um, my highlight is a little more blinding than, but that's just because of these lights. Shh, cat. <laughs> um, but anyway, if you enjoyed this video, if you enjoyed getting ready with me, then please give it a thumbs up, um, share if you would like to, and subscribe if you haven't already, and hit the notification bell. And thank you for watching and experiencing this with me, and I hope you guys are having a great week, and I hope I have a great vacation with all the rain that is supposed to be, 50% supposed chance of rain, and 90 degrees on the day I'm getting married. And I'm getting married outside. It's in a courtyard, like an indoor courtyard, but it's still, like, there's not going to be air conditioning or, you know, doors or anything like that. So, it's still going to be very humid, and my hair doesn't like humidity because it's, like, wavy, curly, and yeah, so. But anyway, thank you again for watching. I am making this way longer than it needs to be. So, I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys. Peace out.